Hello guys and welcome to Clouds Gaming. Today we're going to check out desktop dungeons and that's a little roguelike turn based. Let's try it. The story begins. Creatures attacked in the night. The caravan was unprepared. Travelers had been warned about the unexplored realms, but pride often plays tricks on reason. Flames and blood engulf the defenders, nomads, exiles and vagabonds, with only a handful of real fighters among them. Injured, ill-trained and separated from one another, many of the survivors had no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze-like caverns. So this is us, Bravi Munchlayer, human guard, and there's a little guy here, and I can attack him if I press the left mouse button. Oh, hint. Try exploring before attacking. In desktop dungeons, death arrives swiftly and frequently. If you're already familiar with this game, you can retry the challenge and see uh, about doing better. If you are a newer player, it's recommended that you opt for the formal tutorial dungeons instead. Let's just retry. Oh, it's because we have very little health. So let's move up here. We gained a little bit of health there. And here we gained even more health, so now we can attack him. So now we had even health, I attack him again and I killed him, but I don't have very much health left. So basically I just move around by clicking these squares. And now I'm at full health, so we can attack this guy, kill him. So apparently I gain health whenever I move a square. This guy is level 2, and he has a, a skill, apparently first strike. He almost killed me, so I think we should move away from this guy. <laughs> Here's a level 1. Zombie. That's undead. Let's try that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't exactly kill him. Let's gain some more health. So I should be safe to hit him again here. Here's a little meat boy. He's also level 1. Let's take him out. Now I'm at full health, we can attack this level 1 zombie. So now I'm at level 2, so I can attack this guy up here. And this should take care of him. So I uh, increased my uh, base damage to 10, from 10 to 11. And my hit points. And my magic, or available mana. Burn their ass. Burn your enemies for 4 points of magical damage per character level, slowing their regeneration. Hot key F. Alright, let's pick that up. So now I guess I can press F. Let's try that. So I burned this goo blob, and it has a physical resist of 90%, so I guess it was a good idea to burn it. I still have some mana, so let's uh, burn this one also. Um, this uh, I don't have enough mana to use this apparently, so I need to move around a little bit. Gain some more mana and some more health. So I can hit this. There's some more health. I'm gonna check out what this is. It's mana. I need to pick it up. I want to pick this up as well. The health potion. So little uh, level 2 meat boy, let's burn him. And hit him. Burn the zombie as well. So now I'm level 3. And here's an artifact. Pendant of health, plus 10 health. This item glows slightly red when worn, offering a bonus of maximum 10 hit points. I'm gonna pick that up. Here's a level 4 guy. I think we should save him for later. There's also uh, space in this dungeon we have not explored. Let's burn this guy. 
So the way it looks like this works is that I only gain health and mana if I explore a new tile. I don't gain it if I move around in here. You can see I don't gain any anything at all there. But if I move up there I gain some mana. So probably I should hit this guy and then I should go explore some tiles. So now I lost some health here. So I'll go explore this tile. Let's kill this guy also. He's only level 2. Here's also something. Pinned enough mana, plus two mana. Let's pick up that. Alright, so now I'm almost back to full health, so let's go back to this guy and hit him again. I need more health before I can take him out. That's also level four. We need to save that guy. Let's hit back and burn this guy. I can hit him again, and I should be safe. But now I need more. Health. Oh, he ha he heals as well when I uh, go and get more health. So I'm gonna burn him, and I'm going to. Uh, we had a health potion here. We can use that, and then we can hit him. That took care of him. There's something here. Sensation stone, a sensory stone that seems completely inert at first, but yields great rewards after a conversion process. High conversion value? Yeah, I don't know what that does. But we can convert it down here. Let's uh, kill this guy. It should be easy enough. I'll burn him. The level 2 guy. Maybe I'll. Yeah, I took care of him. Need to gain a little bit more health. Oh, he's back to full health already, so I probably should leave him alone. Yeah, we can take care of this guy. So now we are level 4, we'll go back and hit this guy. And we can win this. Level 3, should be easy enough. Bleed. Click to continue. There's a goat. It's level 5, so I need to save that for later. So let's hit this guy instead. I don't think I'm going to have uh, much luck trying to kill this goat yet. I feel like there must be uh, more monsters we can kill, like this guy here. So that we can get to level 5 before we attack the goat. So here we are, let's go hit the goat. I'm gonna pick this up. Let's burn the goat, so now I can win, if I hit him one time. I think that completes the level, we had to kill the goat. And we get a goat horn. This trophy is what you came here for, grab it and let's go. Congratulations on making it through your first dungeon. In case you're still uncertain about some things, we'd like to offer you the guided tutorials before plunging into the full game experience. Otherwise, feel free to move on to the more complicated play scenario straight away. Should we do the basic tutorial? Nah, let's skip it. The aftermath. Many perished in the days and weeks following the attack. Some were slaughtered by cave dentients, others became trapped or lost. Stronger survivors prevailed against the darkness, banding together to establish a crude outpost in the heart of the wilderness. If this fledging settlement is to survive beyond its first few weeks, its people will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep enemies at bay. This is where your job begins. As the elected administrator of this rabble, it will be up to you to expand the settlement and recruit the heroes needed to defend your people. Alright, so there's some kind of city building. Most honorable administrator are elected by the good people of this settlement to tell you what to do in order to tell everyone else what to do. 
You may consider me an advisor of some sort. Your new position gives you responsibility over our collected funds and effort. This represents the resources we managed to scrounge together so far, so we have 150 kingdom gold. Your current task is to ensure our survival, so I recommend investing our limited funds in training and arming some real defenders. So click on this outpost. Alright, so here we can upgrade to a fighter. Fighters are heroes who go about hitting evil things for a living. They're generally good at surviving long enough to brag about it afterwards. That's a good skill to have. Upgrade complete. Administrator, remember this moment well, for you have just taken your first tentative steps down a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, these survivors will build a kingdom to challenge the guards themselves. That's a very grand ambition. Class unlocked fire. Admirable clicking and spending, noble administrator. You just unlocked the fighter class. These hardy warriors are superior to common guards in several ways. They excel at hunting down opponents and gaining experience quickly. Quest unlocked. Trophy hunting. Administrator. Our scouts have discovered some monsters lair in the surrounding area. It is time to take the fight to them. Let's have our heroes load up and move out. They can return when they have some monster heads and or survivors. Souvenirs of victory. Well, that sounds like an interesting prospect. Oh, sorry for butting in. We'll chat later. Alright, so there's all kinds of story elements going on here. Are you ready to send someone on their next adventure? Just select a dungeon and we'll get to uh, filling out your hero's permanent form. Alright, so now we have this fighter. Apparently he can be upgraded. To some other stuff. The Badlands. <laughs> With two A's. Vince's Vault, easy also. This is easy. Thousand cuts, so all of these three levels are easy apparently. So um, there's some kind of progression where I do these and then I can progress to harder and harder dungeons and unlock uh, better classes and uh, traits and skills for them. So let's go to the Badlands. So the threat level is just one skull and the boss is a goat. Alright. Choose a race, choose a class, and uh, I can apparently only have an adventuring kit. Now let's go about recruiting your next dungeon hero. You'll need to select two things, race and class. For now, just choose the human, because well, nobody else is around yet. Alright, so we choose the human, and we choose the fighter. And we go into the dungeon, here we are. Let's pick up this health potion, and this gold, and this little mana potion here. Or I guess I can leave the dungeon again here if I if I feel I can't complete it and then maybe I can keep the gold. So I made it to level two. It has first strike, so it means it hits me once even though I kill it. So we made it to level 3, so I, apparently I can see where these uh, enemies are and we should probably pick some of them off before we explore more of the map, because we're kind of wasting some of the exploring tiles when we are at full health. Power-ups like these only improve maximum stats and have few short-term benefits, so pick them up as soon as possible. Uh, we got plus one mana. Now what is this? Get in there! Grants you first strike in your next combat round and 5% dodge change hotkey G pick up. And that's another thing here. In this while, destroy a dungeon wall and gain a temporary 20% physical resistance boost. This effect will stack hotkey E. Let's pick that up as well. Extra attack, extra mana, extra health. And this burning thing we also picked up last time. Oh, so I can if I don't if I feel like I don't need an item because we have two of these, then I can drag it down here. And then I it gave me some extra base damage, I think. So it's useful in that way, even though I had that item.
So here we are at even level. But if I march over the, this, I can see that next hit will win. So I should win this. And I'm at level 4 now, so we can actually take on this guy. Should probably burn him with this thing. Yeah, I win the next hit. Let me pick this up first. Self potion. Let's take out this guy. And then this guy. If I hit him next uh, turn, I'll die. Apparently, I can see that. So I need to move. Gain some health back. Maybe I'll just burn him again. First strike. So I guess if I have first strike, he's not going to be able to retaliate. Like this. So now we're at level 5. So we are in doing well in this run, I guess. So I'll die in next hit, so let's burn him instead. And I can win that. So now we need to explore a little bit more down here. I've been around since the desktop dungeons, Arthur, and I'm still gonna kick your ass. Just let me land one hit. Regards, Garbat the Wo, he's the great goat boss. Garbat the Great. Alright, we both had level 5, and I can use this to get a first hit. But first, let's burn him. And then let's get a first hit. And. I'll take him out. I guess not. <laughs> Alas, poor hero, the die is cast, your body's broken, your time has passed, but fear ye not and take ye heart. In the post dungeon menu, just hit restart. So there's a little poem there. 